Hello and welcome to the studio. I have been doing a lot of collages lately and I did some on my artist residency in Cornwall. So I thought I would just do a really quick video showing you a little bit about how I do them. Um, not a demo, just a sort of walkthrough of some of my materials. So this is one of my folders of bits and pieces. So as you can see here I have so these are some pieces that I have India inked washed and are ready to go. And you can see I've, I've done it on a, a few things. And then I also have a collection of clippings. These are magazines, more magazines, some acrylic inks on paper. I like a bit of text pages art bits, art magazines, but also there should be in here somewhere, um, sort of, this is a bit of a science book. <laughs> I also have things like this, which I use as well. So I will take out interesting bits and pieces where I like the imagery. Stars are really good for backgrounds. But the key thing with my collages is that I hand draw and hand ink some of those aspects. So my collages all include a bit of original elements. I'll flip this over just to give you a better thing. So when I was at Cornwall, I didn't have my Bristol board, which is this. This is what I put all my collages on. And you can see, through some of my finished ones. You see they're on this Bristol board, which is A5, which means it's ready to put in a nice frame at the sort of standard size A5. So it's, it's, it's a nice way to present them. It also means I can draw straight on different elements. So for example, those it's the only examples that didn't have it. Um, so for example, on this one, this edge here is drawn straight onto the Bristol board. Uh, again, with this one, this very lowest sort of geological pattern is drawn straight on the Bristol board. This means I can combine these elements in a bit of a different way while still having a secure backing. Now, when I was in Cornwall, I played, and by played I genuinely mean played, I had my sketchbook and I did some collage in the sketchbook itself. So not that one, like the right page to open up to. So here you can see I've actually done some collage in the sketchbook. The idea was it was, wasn't something I had to commit to, I could play around with shapes, patterns, some of them worked better than others. Here I was trying to get ideas of landscape horizons. So I was genuinely playing. But of course, while playing, I came up with some nice compositions that I liked. Now, to glue down things, I use a permanent adhesive mount which is also archival, so it's good for art. What I tend to do is I don't spray the whole back unless it's a very large piece. So what I do is spray on here, and then I use a little brush and brush it on the back of the piece. Far more control and makes it easier to work with small bits. So I'll show you some small bits I put together. Now these aren't finished, but these are bits that I did glue together and thought, ah, it's the start of something. This is, I really liked how this sort of mimicked the outcrops I was seeing. <clears throat> I really liked this one, though I feel it might be a little bit weaker, it needs something else. But I liked this idea, again, these sort of linear horizons. So you've got sea, rock outcrop, 
that's actually a bit of sky, but I liked how it came into the land. And then this is actually a very old painting of fabric printed in black and white. And I liked how it gave this kind of jaggedy edge, as if it were like the gorse on the ground. Here's another example of one that I don't feel worked, but there's something there. So what may happen to this is I may end up cutting it a bit more or tearing it. I may only choose to keep part of it, like I really like this center area that's going on. So I may, well, I wanted stars, you know, I may decide actually that's, that's not as strong as I intended or the peaky top. So what happens is these are a really nice way for me to sketch ideas, but sketching in bold areas and tones and color. This is actually a favorite. I really, really like this, although I think it'll go that way. <laughs> um, so what I will do with this is I will put it on the Bristol board next because it's the, the glued pieces are ready. Glued pieces are complete. But what I want to do is put it on here and I want to add drawing, probably the top and bottom, because I want this to be one of the um, vertically weathered outcrops of rock is what it reminds me of. But giving this really lovely, soft, turquoisey blue the sense of the seaside I was at. So this one's ready to go and I will draw a little bit bottom and top. I kind of know exactly what this needs to finish. Take the Bristol board away again. This is the final draft sketch. And this one I've actually drawn, what I decided to do was to glue it onto some rice paper, draw on that rice paper, and then trim it into an outcrop shape. I love this. I think this is pretty much perfect. So this I will probably mount onto the Bristol board like this. And I may add just some little touches. What I feel this needs is color. So what I might do is just look at adding perhaps a wash of color I'm not sure where. I feel like it needs to be underneath, so I might even try a wash of color on the Bristol board. The risk there, as with all these collages, is that once I put it on the Bristol board and I continue working, it could go all wrong. And then I've lost all the elements of the collage. And that's just a risk that happens. Um, it, it, at this point, because collage is still quite new to me as a finished uh, material, it, I'd say I probably about half of them work out and I'm really happy with that because actually you know even ones like this which I know aren't right I've gotten ideas from this I've gotten the the sketchbook purpose from this and the sketchbook purpose is to explore the shapes explore the elements that you want to put in a final piece even a painting which might be almost all color and very little line work like this still helps me decide what arrangements of that color work, what arrangements of tone work. As you know, I put lines in my paintings, although they may be subtle, those lines do create visual edges. And on here, I, what this does is this goes, actually, some of these edges worked. This edge didn't work, so I would know in a painting, I wouldn't put that edge in. So it all is formative, it's all useful. And I just love that actually I've come up with a whole new series of work out of this format that I basically learned during lockdown and have come to really, really enjoy. So I hope that was a bit interesting. And you can see all of my collages on my website, www.tina-m.com. Thanks for watching.